Yeah. What up, everybody? I'm NY Emperor X, aka NNX, or you could just call me X. But it's your boy. Yeah, yeah, your boy. Ooh, ooh. And this dusty motherfucker right here is the Moose King. And guys, behold the glory that is. What is this island called, anyways? Thriller Bark. Thriller Bark. And we are the Dust Bunnies, getting back into another glorious episode of One Piece. Thriller Bark Island. The Thriller Bark Island. Yeah. So, brother, last time we left our beautiful viewers, we left them with some nice shanties. Oh, uh, yeah, we, yeah. We, 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 we were talking about uh, the Lieber Johnny. Yeah, Lieber Johnny. Best goddamn shanty ever. Which, to start the day off right, guys, question of the day. What's your favorite shanty? Is it from Black Flag? If it's not, why are you wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know. Go for it. You, you actually knew that song? Yeah, I heard I him singing it. You know it? it? I heard him singing yeah! it. Yeah! Hell yeah! At least 80% of it, yeah. Dude, yeah. Cause yes! Because I, I, I played the game like. like yeah? Like three times, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, man. That is and, I would the best the, and I would always have the shanties on, and then I would, I would work Yeah, the man! Yeah. Hell yeah! <laughs> Operator on point, man! Hours and hours of sailing. Just like, sailing, yeah. man! Yeah! The, the hardest thing I, could, I swear to God was taking out those legendary ships. Oh my God, yeah. but, <laughs> but the worst part is you get <coughs> you get two man of wars. Yeah. At once. And you have to take out two man of wars. You know what a man of war is? Yeah, you've shown me it. You've shown those me Those are the thing. really huge yeah. ass ships with like 30 <laughs> cannons on each side. I've done, I tried doing that too. I, 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 I actually beat them. Yeah. yeah. No. My, no, I, my, teeth, I, my hands were sweaty like Oh no, my, my hands were sweaty, oh. they were hurting, and I was just Knees like... Knees weak, arm spaghetti, mom spaghetti? First off, you ruined it. <laughs> oh, fuck. So yeah, so, uh, okay, so so now that we're back, guys... Well, I was gonna say, how much of that do you want to keep? Because that, that whole thing was awesome. Uh, I mean... I kind of want to keep most of it, to be honest. Uh, okay, I, I mean, I'm you know literally I mean? talking to... The to operator, I, man. I, I, the cam, no one can see on the camera, but... <laughs> That's why we put, we've actually been putting uh, subtitles for him, so in case people can't hear him off screen. Oh, really? Yeah, he's got subtitles. Oh, so what, why hasn't yeah. anybody told me this? My bad, brother. I literally just did that, what, like, last week? Was probably the first time we tried it? Nobody tells the black man nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah okay, right? cool. So yeah, we, uh, <laughs> those, those quests were the hardest, bro, I swear to God. Yeah, man. They, they, but, uh, it was worth it. I ended up beating all the legendary ships. Yeah. Um... I I got a 97% in that game. Yeah, you nearly uh, finished it, man. I think the only thing I didn't do was like those bullshit time challenges. Or right. Like that. That's probably the only thing I didn't do. Because I'm like, yo, why do I have to keep doing the same mission over and over? Right, over it's over tedious. Over. It's like the shit that got you doing in Origins, where you got to beat all of the fucking uh, gods again because reasons. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, 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 you know me, I literally do every side quest for yep. those games. Yep. Uh, especially besides the screen, because yep. sometimes you get uh, information. Yeah. But then having to do the same thing over and over again, it's like, and they yeah, don't even it, fucking tell you. It becomes tedious. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. fuck a But, bro, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, man, I, I've been on that pirate shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. It, it's this fucking game, man. It's just, it's, it's so It's one piece, period, bro. Yeah, and, and you man. know what? I'm kind of happy because I, I've been falling out of anime for a long time now. Yeah! Since 2014, since oh, Naruto ended, man. I stopped reading manga. True, true, true. I, I stopped, you know, a lot of shit. Yeah, know? man. And remember, every week I would look forward to Thursday. Or, yeah, uh, when a new totally chapter was coming out or yeah. something. Yeah, man. I was, like, excited and shit. Yeah. Well, if it helps to get you reinvigorated, I was actually talking to uh, one of my guys at D&D, and he's been reading something called Dragon Ball Multiverse. Uh, it's a fan made. It is a fan made, but... He, from what he's telling me, being, you know, a big... Oh, actually, no, we never got to see this, so... He's actually a really big uh, DBZ buff, right? And he says Multiverse is the tournament you've always wanted. Because it brings together all the forms of all the characters you've wanted to be beefy, finally making them beefy. You know what I mean? So you've got uh, everyone from, you know, PyCon, to King Vegeta, who managed to go Super Saiyan, to a Broly that has been encapsulated and basically... So it's called Dragon Ball Multiverse. Multiverse. It's a whole little thing, man. I'm gonna check it out. And we've got, uh, obviously, you know, we've got our main universe coming in and things like that. I mean, that. It, look, uh, well, one thing I will say as a creator, yeah, it's always good to, to look at the little man and, and yeah, see man. what's coming out. I mean, hell, we are the little man, you know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. 
Which is why, you know, I, I'm more than willing to check out their, their comic. Right! As long as the art's good, I have. I yeah! Have more, more yeah, man! I read the first, what, like, chapter or so? And yeah, man, the, the style's pretty on point. I can't lie. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you'll notice some substantial differences because, again, you have a way better eye for detail than I do. You know what I mean? And DBZ was, like, inspiring as hell for you as a style. You know what I mean? It, it, it was my first style. You know what I mean? So, like, I'm sure you'll notice some differences, but for me, like, it, it was decent, man. It, it, it definitely was my first style. Um, yeah. But then I started mixing, uh, you know, One Piece style, Naruto style. Yeah, man. You uh, even took inspiration from uh, fucking Bleach, man, and you never watched the show. Yeah, no. Yeah. But, but the art, the artistry is what gets me. As long yeah. as something looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I, I'm very adamant about all my characters having a different type of hairstyle. Oh, yeah. Man, you guys don't know this, but this man is, uh, like, if there was a pinnacle for where his art style goes, it's definitely in the hair. Because they're all, and it's not even, like, the genuine, like, oh, you know, anime hair, it's all over the fucking like No, like, this shit is the type of shit you make wigs for, man. Like, this shit is doable. You look at this shit and go, I could cosplay that. <laughs> you know, like you look at that, it's like, huh? The, the, the thing huh. is, and, and mind you, I've never changed my hairstyle. Really. No. The most I do is having get, I haven't gotten a haircut. But if I get a haircut, yeah. I always get the same haircut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I mean? But that's because I know what I look good at. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Now, now some people I imagine them, and I, I take inspiration from like old movies or, yeah. or other animes, and I'm like, well, if I would have done the hair, it would have been this way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? mm-hmm. Like, they, they, and, I mean, if there's one person that I really admired their hair, even though it's kind of fancy, but yeah. if you really think about it, it was really awesome. It's my dad. Yeah, it's very, yeah, it's very simple, but very powerful. You know, very like, simple, very powerful. It, 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 it was one of those hairstyles that were like, yeah, how come nobody else had that? Right, you right, right. I mean? Right, right, right. It That's sticks right. out because uh, it's so seemingly simple. What's that guy's name? Gadriel? Gadriel? From um, what? Uh, fairy tale, the iron. Dragon. Oh, Gajil. Gajil. Yeah, Gajil's got Madara hair. Yeah. He got Madara hair. The only difference is he don't got the bangs. Yeah, and it's a lot longer too. No. no. Is it the same length? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, because Madara hair is that long, bro. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, you know, when you've been dead for a long time, sometimes that that's happens. why. That, that's why I call him um, a, a mixture between Vegeta and Madara because he looks. Yeah, like that him. is true, and that's exactly what his initial character arc was. Was supposed to be, you know. The secondary to our uh, our main character Natsu. Mm -hmm. I mean, mind you, he kind of fell to the background, and then it it turned into one of those when the when the anime started, we had a guy designated for that Vegeta role, right? Mm -hmm. And then he was abandoned for Gajil, and then Gajil kind of fell to the background too, and we just kind of never replaced him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Now the irony is the Shanks of Fairy Tail looks like what Shanks would look like in Fairy Tail. Like, it's uh, they ripped pretty... Them off. They, they, they it ripped seems them off. like it, man. It's the same short red hair, scars on the face, all-powerful mystery guy. And that's the crazy part, man. Like, it's weird. Well, I mean, you know what I'll give them props <laughs> you, you know what I will give them? What? If you're going to rip off an enemy, might as well be the most popular in the country at the time. <laughs> true. True, true, I mean, true, man. I, I, you and I are, are big One Piece fans, yes. but... The rest of America doesn't really care for One Piece. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It seems to be a bit off in America, right? It is because it, you, you know why? Why? It's because how America handled it. Yeah. We gave it to four kids first. This was oh. not a this was not a show for four kids. No. As goofy and all that as it is, it is not a show for four kids. It's true. It's it's actually pretty fucking hardcore. There's a lot of cussing. Yeah. There's a lot of violence. Which is why. And, and, and then the the. The changing from it. Yeah. What happened was they went all the way through the crocodile arc. Yep. Using four kids. Duh. Yep. And then out of nowhere, within like a, another week, right after, mm -hmm. it jumped straight to Funimation dub, and it was like, yeah. it, it was like, wait a yeah. minute, what the hell happened? Why does everybody sound different? Yeah. Why yeah, are they yeah. cursing? Why Zoro? Uh, I mean, why, why Zolo all of a sudden? Why Zoro? Yeah, right. All those where, little things. Like, where does Sanji's lollipop go? It's not just that. Why? What? What, what happened to Sanji? Something like this. Oh to, yeah. To, to sounding, you know, like suave. You, you know, yeah, like, so man. Like, what the hell happened? Yeah, it was a jarring to say the least. But I, I'm happy they did it. Yeah. But I, I would have preferred Funimation's coming beginning instead of working you, you know, know they did go back eventually right yeah i'm sure Which they is, did but i mean that's the dub that i've been watching with my son is the but, funimation dub but but nobody here really cared for it at that point yeah exactly. it, it was already too late the damage had been done yeah you, yeah, you, you man. ruined one piece for america yeah 
God, shame on that man. I wonder whose decision that was, in retrospect. Well, I mean, think about it. You can blame four kids, but you can't blame them too much. Yeah. Because four kids was running on on um, networks like yeah. like uh, WB Kids. It was on WB Kids, wasn't it? Because they also got the rights to Yu Gi Oh and yeah, yeah, that's true. So you you, you, you know you can look at that, but and even Sonic Yu-Gi-Oh, X. But 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 even Yu Gi Oh, I mean, yeah. they, they handled that well. They did, they did. I mean, they censored some things, but it was more of like the sexual stuff. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. Where where One Piece is heavily sexualized. Yeah. Oh, so, so so they had to you know censor a lot. But then they, they started going for lollipops. Yeah. Cigarettes, <laughs> right. You're not the same. Yeah, like, <laughs> Remember when that was an actual debate when people were talking about, oh yeah, when they're smoking in a movie, it's gonna need a, dis- a discretionary advisor. See, like really? That's another thing. How many people don't smoke cigarettes now? And mm-hmm. how many people do? Okay. Yeah. And we all grew up watching people smoke on TV and movies yeah. and all that. Yeah. Some, some people just say that's not their thing, right? Exactly. And it's like, it's not the end of the world. But we know, especially nowadays, it's like the trope of, like, the cool guy. Our parents' generation was worse than us. They used to actually steal cigarettes and try to, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was a big deal back like, in the day, man. Like, 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 I mean, unfortunately, guys, yeah, I'm one of them who smokes. But, you know... But it's not like the end of the world. I don't smoke at nearly as bad as half these people. God, you, yeah. you have people who go through packs. I smoke like two or three a day. Yeah, right? You know? Oh, yeah. Like, My aunts are like that, man. You know, like yeah. a, a pack a day, that's okay. Yeah. You know I, I, mean? got, I got family that smokes that much, man. It's but, crazy. But, but but even in that, it just never made sense to me. Oh, we can't have nobody smoking in movies and blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, right? Like, look at it. Exactly. It's not the end of the fucking world, man. It gets you a can't... trope. How can you keep censoring everything in yeah. the world? You're gonna show to your kids to the point where everything offended them. Oh, and look at the new generation. I mean, Literally my god, man. everything offends them. Yep. Don't matter what the fuck it is. Mind man. you, we're not that much older than them, but... No. But it, you gotta understand, guys, like, we... And I know we've talked about this before, so we're not we're gonna get too crazy. We're early 90s babies, We are early 90s babies, so it's like, we got a lot... We got away with a lot of shit, man. Like, our generation, even if it was just something as simple as TV... We got away with a lot of shit, and yeah, we're a little fucked up in the head, but we're not out, you know, crying and whining about every fucking little thing. You know what I mean? I mean, look, I have a son. There are certain things that I shelter him from, and on the same point, there's also things that are just kind of normal to have around him. And I'm not going to go into, like, the fucking details, because I don't, you know, I don't give a shit to, you know, explain that to everybody. But nobody's business. Exactly, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. It's nobody's business. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's not the end of the world if kids see, you know, a little blood, or hear one cuss word once in a while. You know what I mean? It's not the end of the fucking world. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, you don't want them to say it, but that's why you make it a point to say, hey, this is not something you do. This is not something you say. You know what I mean? You stepbrothers that shit. You you don't say that. You don't say that. Exactly. (laughs) You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, fuck. Hey, look, Morty is... Oh, God damn it. This level's done? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's done, man. I don't have to go through this shit ever again. Everybody got their shadows back, and then Binx's Sake, which is one of my favorite songs in the series. Uh, and Luffy goes down. God, right, right, right. I remember this part. This is a big. Okay, let me let me shut up. This is actually very important. Do you want to let them see this? No, man. We're gonna still talk all the way through it, but <laughs> yeah. it's still a really good fucking scene, man. I'm still all right, guys. Kuma, this guy right here. Kuma. The way he's introduced in the show and all that, you, you you could tell there was a little discrepancies and Oda was a little confused where he wanted to go with it. Oh yeah, but he ends up being a huge benefactor to them. Yeah, but it's amazing to me how he tried to kill them. Yep. You know. Yep. And that was your your uh, one of your closest friends. Yep. Yeah, you know I mean? Yep. That's like me trying to go after Dante. Exactly. And, 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 and you're busy doing something. Yeah. You know, and I'm just yeah. like, hey, I'm Dante, I'm going to kill you. Like, exactly. Like, exactly. It's like, wait a minute. That's wait, your best friend's there. kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, man. So, I mean, of course, they retconned that and they made it better. Yeah. You know, and so, hey, I'm just fulfilling my role. And yeah. And I'm Kuma's, playing. you know, like part cyborg at this point. So they've been fucking with his head, too. You know what I mean? But prior to that, you know, there, there's a lot of mystery behind him. And maybe one day we'll get that, you know, that actual explanation. Because look how powerful he is. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, and it, 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 it's just a shame, honestly. You know? He, 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 he was a great fucking character, man. And I honestly, I always put him on the same caliber as uh, Mihawk initially. Like, when he came into the picture, mm-hmm. like, I was like, this is a guy we're not going to know about for a long fucking time. 
Well, you I know? mean, we, we, we know enough about you. Yeah, to, 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 to not be on his ass. Like, what is, who is he? What does yeah. he do? Blah, blah, blah. The same thing with Shanks. We barely see him, but we know a lot about him. Exactly. Exactly. We know enough to know where he stands, why he does some of the things he does. It's And, and that's what I like about, you know, people like Shanks. People like Mihawk. They're very simple characters. But they work for the role they've been assigned. Right. And, you know, and we don't ever try to make them into this grandeur thing. But, I mean, but that's half the fun, obviously, because we only know so much about them, we get to make them whatever the fuck we want in our heads until we get, like, a proper explanation. True. You know what I mean? True. And I feel like, even at the end of the day, Shanks will get more of an explanation for, like, defining his powers and where he stands on the on the tier list kind of thing. Right. But I always feel like Mihawk's gonna kind of be that bit of a mystery. Like, we know yeah, Zoro's gonna supersede I, him, but we will never know where he stands on And, and check this out, I mean, how, how can people really say that Mihawk is the greatest? Mm -hmm. Maybe now he is. But remember, when Shanks had two arms, supposedly they were... Yeah, they were on par, man! And they had... It, it's actually funny, because I I don't know why I watched it, but it was just a random uh, one of those scenes, you know, from the English dub, where Mihawk met up with Shanks, and he was talking to him about Luffy. And the first thing he says to Shanks is, is, uh, I want you to know that since you've lost your arm, don't worry about that debt we have to settle. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh... You know, I, I was I was gonna ask you. Uh, did, did, did I mention the theory hmm. about the Roger Pirates on the channel? I feel like you did, but I don't remember. I mean, for the sake of it, you might as well go through it once more, and I'll look over the video. And kind of just get okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so check this out. Yo! I uh, there's this theory I heard about recently, and it kind of makes sense. There was a few of the Roger Pirates who still stuck around and um, yes. obviously have roles, if you think about it. Mm -hmm. We've already ran into... Shit, well, towards the beginning couple chapters, yeah. we had already ran into three of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Buggy's role, I, I don't think Buggy really has a role. No, he, he's just kind of there, Personally, man. I, yeah. I mean... He, he, he takes the comedic role, but then again, maybe he, he's one of those characters like I've been pretending to be Goofy. Yeah, and I mean, but he was I, a big villain in the beginning. I really don't think so. No, I don't I don't think they'll go that route. He's but, just kind of always in the background, man. But then, you know, you have... Um, okay, so Shanks. Yeah. Shanks' role was to pass, pass on the, the hat yeah. for the, the person who would carry on his will. Yes. Uh, Crocus... <laughs> Which is the doctor who's with Laboon? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, I think his role was to uh, um, tell everyone else. Right. The the rest of the Roger Pirates, the chosen one, has been found. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he he just entered the Grand Line. Yep. He's starting his mission. Yep. Now, there's a mountain, or, or that that mountain that you need to take to go into the Grand Line. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where where Krakus and Laboon and all that shit are. Mm -hmm. um, you notice that they're on two. Uh, they're, they're a half of the world. Yes. So one side is the end of the Grand Line, the other side is the beginning. Right. Those two points. There's one of those um, those chapter covers, I guess you call them. Right. Where uh, Krakus is speaking to someone. We only get to see oh, yeah, his back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I have a feeling that that's another Roger Pirate. Right. And I think he's the one who holds the key and the last clue to Rafa. Yeah, the one with the one with the glasses that we saw a little Scopper. Scopper. There you go. Scopper. I, I think it's him. Which is funny. I, I, I'll get into that later. But yeah. It, um. Now that I think about it, yeah. So so. We, we see ha! Ass. <laughs> <laughs> I like how that's the first thing we do. <laughs> Be the first thing we fucking... Oh shit! Wow, yo, you you, you got an S for the exclamations, I'm but telling you, you got an A for, for the kills. kills. Yeah, I didn't that kill makes enough. No sense. I dodged a lot of the people that I kept running uh, running through. Honestly. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you kept it under th uh, thirty minutes, so you did. Which is uh, yeah, which is also a really great. Okay. All right, so so yeah, so um, so, so yeah. you have that, and then Rayleigh's job was to do what? Of course, they're all in locations mm -hmm. where Luffy has, has to, to go. go through. Or big places that we know, you know, as far as Grand Line adventures go, mean something to moving forward. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's Even like, if it's just a story. I, I mean, think about it. Speaking the of only, the archipelago. The, the only way you could go to the New World is mm -hmm. through there. You get me? Yep. Because remember, you have to go underwater mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to go to... You didn't have to go to Fishman Island, but you had to go but underwater. You, yeah, you had to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To go over to the New World. Yep. 
you, you, so you, I mean, it, th- 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 this is what I'm saying. Well, no, if you look at all the locations these people are at, it's very specific, and they all have a role to play. Yep, it's very deliberate. You know? Absolutely. Now, and you, and like you were saying before, the defining, the thing that sets, just to give you guys, you know, a frame of reference, what defines Luffy among every other pirate that will go through these areas is the straw hat, which again goes back to what he was saying about Shanks being the one to pass this on. So, yep. exactly. And then after that, if you notice it, mm-hmm. um, Shanks has been on a on a mission against Teach lately. Yeah, especially especially lately, absolutely. Because Teach is Teach seems like one of those guys that wasn't part of the plan. You know what yeah. I mean? He's a bad guy who came into this, started putting together a big crew, and then became very powerful and became an actual. The problem menace. is he's a D. Yeah, exactly. The problem is he's a D, yeah. and he's going for the pirate king. Type. Yep. And the problem is, is he's a threat because now he's he's a yunker. Yep. A and even Whitebeard acknowledged it, man. Yeah. Like you, like like he, to aid your theory, Whitebeard said straight to Teach right as he was dying, he's like, "You are not the one who's going to." Uh, yeah, he, you're, you're, what was you're, it? You're, you're not the one Rogers waiting for. There you go. You're not the one Rogers waiting for. Yep. You're not him. You know. Yep. Yep. And, yep. And, and and if you notice, when faced with death, he was scared shit. But every other D, when they're about to die or if they die, with a smile. they smile. Yep. Right before they so die. So he's a coward of a D. He, oh, he's definitely, race. yeah, he, he, he does not deserve that title. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. And that's the thing. So I, I'm, I'm still interested to find out what the hell's the will of thing. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, in all honesty, with something as ambiguous as the will of D, a part of me hopes they never explain it. You know what I mean? Because I like the air of mystery. Like, maybe in one of those, like, ten years later, you know, uh, he goes on, like, an interview to say, yeah, you know, this is what I always imagined the will of D to be. I, I mean, I, to be honest, I, I, I would like an answer. Yeah. The only reason why is because there's too much mystery. Yeah. They, 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 the reason why I say that is because you even left it ambiguous for us where you teased us. You like yeah. cock teased us so fucking bad. You know, like, like think about it. It's like a girl who's dancing in front of you. She's about to leave. You know, she, Just give you guys a visual. She, she, like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's a girl dancing. No. La, la, la. No, 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 no. She doesn't sing? Does she have nice titties? Because I have nice titties. I'm just saying. Girls, where you at? I've got nice oh, titties. <laughs> I know you didn't. <laughs> you, guys, you guys like my nice titties? La, 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 la. God damn it. Can, can, can okay. I get into perspective okay. here? Go, go for it. Go for it. So there's yeah. a sexy lady doing a sexy dance. And I don't know where she, she's, she's like, about, like, like, like you're at a club yeah. or a strip club or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and right when she's about to, the music just stops and then she just stops and she walks away. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, it's like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're like, wait a minute, what the hell just happened? You know what I mean? Like, like he, he literally yeah. had white beard and Goldie sitting having sake together, which yeah. I, I, honestly I still say is one of the best scenes ever created. Absolutely. Um, he and and then he asks him, so what is the will of D? He's like, and oh, then, you wanna know? Huh? You wanna know? Oh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. And then, yeah. Just what the fuck? Well, <laughs> you know, you know why they did that? Because at that point, Whitebird was already missing half his fucking head, so he couldn't remember the other half. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. I feel so bad for it because I fucking love Whitebird, man. But he was too funny not to go with it. <laughs> but uh, honestly, I, I still say Whitebeard goes down in history as one of the greatest anime characters of the world. He was a badass in every fucking respect. Man. But 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 my thing is, if, 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 if he was considered the strongest Yonko, yeah, to go out the way he did kind of disappoints me then because they're making Big Mom seem like a huge issue. Yeah, I mean, Big Mom had always been a big issue though for Whitebeard. You know what I mean? Because she kept trying to take his territories every chance she got. Yeah, you know but, what I mean? but, but so did every other Yoko. You gotta remember, the only Yoko... Except Shanks. Who, yeah, he's the only one who respected Whitebeard. True. And Whitebeard respected him to an extent. True. And yeah, the other and asshole. Kato, K- Kato yeah. and, and Big Mom, they, 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 they were just assholes who like literally tried to take over everything. They're kind of like the Teach of their generation, you know what yeah. I mean? They were just assholes. But Absolutely. they were nowhere near as bad as Teach. <sighs> no. no teach, has this, teach has this weird ability to get people on his side. You know what see, I mean? See, my thing is, I actually like the character of yeah. Teach, even oh, yeah. though he's he's like such a horrible person. Oh, absolutely! And it's something yeah. we talked about before. He's a great villain because he's easy to hate, but he's also easily likable too. Exactly. Because because let's be honest, you, when 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 we ran into him at uh, well, when he was eating that cherry pie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he he. He didn't seem like an asshole or a villain. No, he, he was just a guy. He, he, he yeah. In a way, he inspired me. He, he told he's like. Don't believe in dreams. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. Right? The age Chase. of pirates is over? Ha! Ah! Check. 
You're, no, no, the Age of Dreams. Ah, uh, the was it the Age of Dreams? Yeah, the Age ah. of Dreams over. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah man. And he told him, yo, follow your dreams. Bro. Exactly. Follow your dreams. Fuck that cherry pie. You know, and and but then when we see what he did to Ace, and then it's just like, oh, oh come on. god, man. Like, like you went from liking this guy, right, to all of a sudden understanding why why Ace was against him. Oh. You know what I mean? That's good writing, if you ask me. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Because you end up liking this man and then hating him. Exactly, you exactly. Know? You introduce your villain in the best way possible. And like, I can't lie. Like I mean, him. if I could get him in OPTC, yeah. If I could get him in that, yeah. And I'm talking about the dual power. Don't you have the uh, the pre-evolution of that one? No, I, 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 I have. I had I had Marshall who teach, and then I upgraded him to Blackbeard, where he just has the Yami Yami. Oh, and that's the one from the event, right? Yeah, okay. that, that's basically the Blackbeard that fought Ace. Right, 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 right. Okay. I, I want to get the one that has both the powers. Yeah, that one actually in the tier list, he's actually pretty far up there too. That's what I want. You know. Uh, Plus, I mean, it, it, it's it, fucking Blackbeard. It'd be pretty cool to have another room. Book, Absolutely, you know? absolutely, man. Uh, but, but, but that's my thing. Like, 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 like I said, I have, I have a thing for the the young things right now. Yeah. I really like their their skill. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it it shows me like they don't they're not just captains, bro. They yeah. have fleets, right? And, right. And territory, man. Right. It feels like something what a real pirate would do. Right. Like their yeah. names inspire terror, man. Like there is a reason why they are the way they are. Exactly. And and then in a world like One Piece, where where like anything and anyone can fuck you up. Yeah, man. A specific name is just like, whoa, okay, I don't want to mess with that. You hey, know, like, fucking Zack. And man. but what I love about it is Luffy's the one who's like, who? Is it right? Okay. Right? And and right? You, All right. Okay, so 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 check this out. They, they, they want to be king of pirates. Oh, oh fuck now we up. gotta fight. <laughs> you know? Wait, you hurt one of my friends. All right, now you gotta die. <laughs> Simple as that. Like, Simple as fucking that. Luffy don't play that shit. Nope. But guys, that's where we're gonna have to leave you. Tell us down in the chat, or down in the uh, the comment section, who's your favorite Yonko? Why? Do you have another favorite pirate? Let us know. We'll get back to you guys. But in the meantime, brush that dust off your shoulders. Brush that dust off that beautiful ass subscribe button. Brush that dust off that concasse! Leave a like on this video if you like what we're doing here. Leave a comment down in the comment section. We'll get back to you guys. And if you really like what we're doing here, share us out to your friends. Tell as many people as you can because it helps us keep doing what we're doing. The more attention you give to us, the more attention we can give to you guys. It all works out. And if you really like what we're doing here, drop us a tip on Patreon. We really fucking appreciate it. But guys, we will see you in the next episode. Peace.